Welcome back everybody to the Home Inspection YouTube channel. A uh, little bit behind this week, I apologize, but I got some good news. We are gonna start doing giveaways on the YouTube channel. So the YouTube channel started making money. We made about $160, $180 last month, which is kind of cool. So what I did is I subscribed to one of those battle boxes and I'm gonna start giving away the stuff that I got in the battle box. So this week's giveaway is a hatchet. I don't know what a home inspector needs with a hatchet, but it's a, it's, a, it's a nice hatchet. It's like $90 hatchet. So if you wanna win this hatchet, this uh, Condor hatchet, it's just all you have to do is like and comment on the video. That's it. Moving on to uh, the home that we're inspecting today. This one I like to call is one of my favorite types of homes to inspect because it's a little easy, you know, but at the same time, I don't have to ever give really bad news with these, but you never know what you're going to get. So this one is a 2003, it's a single story ranch brick exterior siding home. If you're a first time home buyer, I would recommend 100% to try to get one of these. These are like the best type of houses to get your feet wet, I would say, in the industry of owning a home. Um, yeah. So let's start this inspection and don't make fun of me. Check out, check out my new hat. This is my, uh, my new home inspection hat because it's so freaking hot out there. I think, I think it's kind of cool. What do you, th what do you think? Okay. So for the first walk through quick finds real quick, you can see you know the door frames uh, this is not actually WDI damage this is dog damage in dog damage you can see where they've been clawing at it and uh, it looks like they got a little bit of water coming into the property from uh, uh, the, the compromised door frame there so whenever you step into any new area I always like to get my flashlight and shine the ceiling and you just want to look for little anomalies like this you know little paint spots I mean, it, it, it could mean absolutely nothing at all, but it's something that you want to remind yourself, hey, when I'm on the roof, I need to check out this area right here. Sink damage underneath the sink, so you want to make sure you, oh, there you go. Look, it's leaking at the, the joint back there. So if you ever see any water damage below a sink, you always want to make sure you document it and double check for leaks. This is right behind the bathtub, so we'll end up trying to cut a thin line right here uh, to get access behind the plumbing to see if this is an active water leak. Uh, we can also use our infrared cameras and moisture meters on this baseboard to see if we have active moisture in the wall. We probably call this out way too often, but you know, your returns and air filters, just replace them as soon as you put your house on the market. A lot of people forget. And you know, we're not getting good differentials in the home already. And you can already see there's not enough airflow. If they're not changing their ACE, they're not changing their filters. That means the coils are dirty, means the ducts are dirty. And then we write up the whole system to be serviced. Pretty common call out on these showers that they're not watertight. They leak a lot on these joints around the glass. So just kind of be prepared for that. We have a newer water heater here and uh, we have a bead of caulking around the flue there, which is odd. So when we get in the attic space, we want to maybe try to figure out why they did that. I'm not really sure, but it's a you know, newer water heater, 2019 American. Uh, you can see the brick line looks pretty straight going down. We don't see any separation around the windows. That's looking good. We do have an expansion joint here, and this is a pretty common call out where you need a reseal the expansion joint. That does not mean that there's movement on the property. You have to reseal these expansion joints in Texas probably every five, you know, five to seven years. We recommend just a little bit of drainage over here. But overall, you know, this I don't see any signs of stress on this wall whatsoever. And don't get me wrong, you can see stress in an expansion joint. It's probably one of the first areas it's gonna show up, but uh, it, just because the, the caulking separated doesn't mean separation. That's what I was trying to say. 
Next common call out you're going to see on pretty much every inspection report is rust on the steel lintels. Uh, we get that all the time in mortar improvement. And then this is something to raise alarms or bells. Why do they have a bunch of caulking in this area? You know, you see they got caulking here, caulking here. So this gutter is probably not performing. So we're going to end up writing that up. And then when we get on the roof, we'll t look further into it too as well. So right here we have some trees in the front yard and then you have your primary clean out right here. And it might be a good idea to hire someone to come out and do a sewer scope scan of uh, the sewer lines because we've seen trees compromise the main primary drain line. Uh, sewer scans in the Texas area and our area ra range anywhere from $150 to $250 depending on who you use. Sorry, my laser pointer died, so I have to use my finger, but right here you can see uh, they didn't install the kickout flashing around the chimney, and we have a lot of water lines running along the edge of the property, and then you can see how water is running out the base of the chimney. This is the same area that we had that splotch in the, uh, um, the dining room there, so you know things are starting to add up a little bit why that discoloration might be there doesn't mean 100 percent that we have damage i would like to confirm it with the infrared camera because we've had a lot of rain or i will get in the attic space and crawl over here too as well you can report on stuff like this uh we do every now and then depending on the client but we'll write up our uh, you know fences in poor condition you can see that this one's leaning out of place and it's taking some damage I don't think you can typically negotiate on a fence, but you never know in real estate, right? Common call outs, you have weather strip improvement around windows, and then you have a uh, ceiling around hose bibs. And you want to be really careful with these planter boxes. People can overdrive screws or not seal them up properly, and you can catch water damage. And this is right behind a couch, so you want to, you know, always think big picture. Make sure you look behind the couch in this area to see if any damage has occurred because of these. Mainly due to the age, it's just time to repaint and seal the exterior fasteners on the on the hardy plank. The hardy actually doesn't look too bad overall in the back of the property. It just uh, needs a little bit of maintenance. So coming back into the property uh, from the kick out flashing on the outside, taking a second look and you can really see the water lines rolling down the inside of the property and then you can see it resting right here and then it's tore up the baseboard right there. So really the major things that we're going to find so far is this is probably one of them. So coming over to the chimney, this is my main area concern. Right, it's where we have the water leak and stuff. So I'm going to just step on it right here. It's a little soft right there. So we can write that up. I'm not putting my full weight on it. I'm just doing enough to test it out to see how bad it is. It's actually fine over there. So, yeah, the same area where we have the water stain, the water in the wall, the no kick out flashing, we're going to recommend for repair in this area. Next area with roofs, anywhere where water funnels together, you want to really pay special attention to in the attic area. Easy area to find water leaks or improper design with the flashing in these areas. I'm not saying there's an issue right there right now, but you know, as a home inspector, areas you want to pay attention to, high traffic of water areas. Okay, I'm not going to spend too much time up here, but I just wanted to show you on the top of the water heater over there, there's no rot or any water damage around the flue. So that, they were probably just doing like preventative maintenance on that flue storm collar over there. I like to open up the coil area and even though the filter's dirty, um, the coil actually looks pretty clear, which is nice. It looks like we have a slight back of uh, water, backup of water in the coil area. So uh, the primary probably needs to be blown out. So we'll, we'll write that up for them. And uh, yeah, the coil is actually not as dirty as I thought it would be. And I, we have a truss system and you know, there's no real path to get over to that chimney area. So uh, we got enough evidence to write up that there's a water leak. I mean, you don't need any more, but it's always best to collect as much data as you possibly can to put in your reports. Okay, I'm gonna wrap the video up there. 
and you can see these properties are a little bit easier to inspect but just because it's easier doesn't mean that we're not going to find anything we pretty much as home inspectors we always find something it's just a matter of what we find and uh, um, don't forget to like and comment on the video to win the hatchet and please hydrate it is very hot out here in the texas area wherever you're at make sure you hydrate because uh, inspectors go down for it pretty often so hydrate and stay safe and good luck out there catch us on the next one bye